Hi everybody. Early on, Honda went green. The FCX clarity of the middle of the 2000s was an intriguing first glimpse of a hydrogen-powered future that has yet to materialize, and its inside hatchback actually beat the Prius to market in the latter part of 1999. However, Honda, like its main rival Toyota, has tried fully electric vehicles in the past but hasn't made a modern version to compete with Tesla, Ford, or Hyundai. That will soon change, starting with the Honda Prologue in 2024. It is the opening act of a huge play about electric cars in the Americas, as the title suggests. Additionally, it is a part of Honda's ongoing effort to adapt to the automotive industries once in a hundred years period of great transformation. We now have our first real look at the prologue, after months of teasers and informational snippets from Honda. We can clearly see what Honda is referring to when it calls its new design language Neo Rugged. Even though we aren't entirely sold on the idea that its cutesy looks can be branded as rugged, the design looks like something that Asimo would drive. We'll let you decide if that's a positive or negative sign of typical Honda restraint. The interior of the Prologue resembles an improvement on previous Honda models. The usual infotainment screen is visible above the dashboard, but Honda hasn't said what software it will run on, how big it will be, or what features it will have. We'll find out more about those closer to the launch. Again, there are no details on the display at this time, so we will have to wait for the final specs to know how big it is and the full extent of its functionality. In front of the driver is a fully digital instrument cluster with graphics that look like a big step up from what we've seen in the current Civic and CRV. The prologue size is one thing we do know. According to Honda, it will be roughly comparable in size to the current Passport. The Prologue will have a wheelbase of 121.8 inches and a length of 192 inches. That is significantly larger than the Hyundai Ioniq 5, which has a wheelbase of 118.1 inches and a length of 182.5 inches. It is hoped that this will result in increased interior volume and additional legroom for passengers in the rear. For information regarding the Prologue's electric vehicle range, we need only look no further than Detroit. Honda will power the Prologue's electric motors with the brand new Ultium battery system developed by General Motors rather than creating an entirely new electric vehicle architecture. Because the Ultium cells are able to be arranged either vertically or horizontally, Honda is able to customize the configuration to make the most use of available space. We can get a good idea of what to expect from Honda's Prologue by taking a quick look at the preliminary specs for the Chevy Blazer EV. The Blazer EV's base model, which is front-wheel drive, has a range of up to 247 miles. A larger battery pack can increase that range to anywhere from 290 to 320 miles. We wouldn't be surprised if Honda offered at least one Prologue model with a total range of 300 miles, 
and we anticipate that at least one model will exceed this number by the time it goes on sale. According to Honda, the Prologue will go on sale sometime in 2024, and Honda will introduce a brand new platform in 2026. Keep in mind that General Motors Ultium platform serves as the foundation for the Prologue, and that Honda will have its own architecture by 2026. The automaker intends to offer more affordable electric vehicles by 2027. Honda claims that the Prologue's price will also be comparable to that of the current Passport. With the announcement of the 2024 Honda Prologue electric SUV, Honda declares that better late than never in order to compete with the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Ford Mustang Mach-E. The Passport starts at just under $40,000, and we anticipate that the Prologue will also be priced in the same range. GM's Ultium batteries will power Honda's first mass-market electric vehicle, giving the pack flexibility to maximize interior space. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.